Hello, I am Shane Roberts, one of the developers for Titanic Voyage. And today we wanted to take a little time to illustrate to all of you how exactly this lifeboat overhaul that we have worked on functions. I know we've kind of talked about it on our Facebook in the past. We showed a little bit of it in our trailer, but there's still a lot that people aren't sure of. People have questions. So we wanted to take a little time now that we're just a week away from the voyage itself to discuss exactly how this feature works and to show it to you in action. So I'm here in my local version of the game on April 14th. The ship has just begun to sink and we're going to go ahead and jump forward a little bit. We're going to jump ahead to when Lifeboat 7 starts to board. So how does this work? Well, here I am as Mr. Ismay and I'm waiting for Lifeboat 7. You can tell that Lifeboat 7 is boarding because of this flashing icon on the map. The life preserver in the room itself is highlighted in yellow. That means a lifeboat is boarding. And the lifeboat that is boarding is lifeboat number seven right here. You can tell because it has lit up. These boats are not yet boarding, the ones that have not yet lit up. And if they were grayed out like this, that would mean that those lifeboats were already gone. So you can use that and this map to kind of determine which lifeboats you should probably try and go wait for next. So lifeboat seven here. This boat was primarily filled with women and children, first class women and children in particular. So what does that mean for my odds here as Mr. Ismay? Well, it means they're not that good. Basically what's happening right now is behind the scenes, the game's rolling some dice and those dice will return a number between one and 100. And then depending on my age, class and gender for this particular lifeboat, I'll get a bonus to my rolls. In this case, let's say the bonus is 75 for women, nothing for men. So those women will have a 75 added to all of those rolls. And if the result of their dice roll is ever equal to 100 or greater than 100, they'll get the offer to board the boat. So they've got considerably higher odds than us men for this lifeboat. Men have to rely on a roll of well, a perfect 100. That's one out of 100 chance of getting the offer. Whereas women, well, they get a flat 75. They've just got to roll a 25 or higher. So they've got a whole lot more options. So I don't think Mr. Ismay is going to make it into this boat. A lifeboat he might have had a better chance with is lifeboat C. The boat that he actually did escape the ship in. So we've jumped ahead a bit further into the sinking. As you can see, most of the lifeboats are gone now, but lifeboat C is boarding. So Mr. Ismay is going to take his chance. And I want to highlight again, um, this is a random system. And even if you have higher odds of boarding a lifeboat, you might not see a prompt still. So uh, we're going to do this live and see if Mr. Ismay gets lucky or not. <laughs> and in the meantime, we can talk about another new feature we've added, which is promenade boarding. Now for some lifeboats, particularly these aft boats here, but a couple others might as well, the promenade will actually have moments where the lifeboats pass by. Oh, hey, look at that. We got lucky. So if I click yes, I would be taken into the lifeboat. If I click no, I'll remain here. Since I'm trying to explain the promenade boarding for you, I'm going to click no, but just know that Mr. Ismay would have been saved tonight. So if we jump back to when some of these aft lifeboats are leaving the ship, let's say boat 11, and we go to the promenade down below, well, you can see a lifeboat's passing by the promenade right now. That would be lifeboat, uh, I'm not even sure, lifeboat number nine. Okay, lifeboat nine has just left the ship. It's passing by the promenade right now, and up on the promenade, lifeboat 11 is boarding. As it's passing by the promenade, if you get lucky, you can actually jump into that boat as it's going by. Um, and again, that's all dependent on luck. The game's rolling some dice behind the scenes. Um, it could be that these promenade boarding boats give you better odds. Here, I just got another uh, prompt to board the boat. I'm going to do it this time. It could be that some of those give you better odds. It could be that some of those give you worse odds. You'd never know. You've got to just try your luck. Everyone's going to have choices they have to make with this new system. Some of them will pay off, some of them won't. And I think that's the beauty of this system. And I think it's going to help us see far more historically accurate survival rates. A lot more women than men, we're hoping. A lot more children, too. 
So I think that's a basic rundown of the system. I hope everything was clear. And if it's not, please feel free to ask us questions. And this last week before the voyage, we're all stuck inside right now. We got nothing else to do, so we're all ready to answer your questions. And looking forward, as always, to see you on board the Titanic here in just seven days.